Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages shoe sizes, my name is Tony Cole and I'm honored that I've been chosen to present to you New NAW Europe. <laughs> New NAW has long to showcase the best professional wrestling in Europe and now the best of the best under the 12 star flag get their very own platform. Airing once a month live and of course from the hottest grappling cities on the continent. New NAW Europe offers you the most hard-hitting, tightest wrenching and high-flying premier core wrestling, European style. But what would a premier wrestling promotion be without a heavyweight champion? How do we decide a heavyweight champion? 16 of the very best men the European core wrestling scene has to offer, hand-picked by our chairman, former OPW world champion TJ Nicholson, and our amazing new now board associates, Biff Andreas and Al Caprera, will go head on in the EEL, the Euro Elite League, a round robin tournament split into two blocks. A block comes to you live from the full city, Berlin, in Germany. These eight men will have to go full throttle if they wish to advance to the finals. Introducing Dario Antonelli, a vicious all-rounder who has won multiple championships in his native Switzerland. Chairman TJ Nicholson has personally vouched for Antonelli, saying that Antonelli's drive and ruthlessness are factors which for he believes Antonelli will one day be a world heavyweight champion. Wondering why they call him the Time Stopper? Antonelli claims the pain he causes his opponents is so agonizing it seems like time stands still. Oh, that's a statement. Speaking about statements, here's the guy who wants to make one. Alex Baumgartner, a true wildcard in this tournament, was originally declined a spot in the tournament due to his smaller stature. Determined to make the cut, however, Baumgartner put on 15 pounds and new NAW Europe's board of directors had to give him a break. It remains to be seen will the weight gain affect the high-flying style the Austrian young gun is known for. One thing's for sure. The finishing touch, the eightless fluke, the flight of the eagle, it's got to be seen, to be believed. Duncan Blade's nickname is not just a cool nickname. He used to be an actual surgeon in his home of Glasgow, until a street fight outside a bar left him scarred and bitter. Known best as one half of the Force Wrestling Tag Team Champions with Mike Dubois, Blade is as well a very efficient singles wrestler, whose extensive knowledge of the human anatomy allows his big brain to punish his opponents in ways you and I can't even imagine. Here's a man who prefers his initials, Falao Rouge Latunzi, better known as FRO. The French sensation used to be an associated football prodigy, making some moves in Japan. But after getting caught up the team roster, the young Frenchman decided to pursue his other passion, professional core wrestling. Trained at the ASJ Dojo in Tokyo, FRO's arsenal uses strong style throws and aerial maneuvers like no other. Like no other. <laughs> That's a phrase best fit to describe this man. Hellenius of Finland is without a shadow of a doubt the biggest man in this tournament. The Finn Hammer not only weighs almost 350 pounds, but he also stands at 7 feet tall. Imagine him picking you up for the vertical suplex pile driver. That's like a 10 feet drop head first. But he's not the only one who could show you and make it seem like falling off a cliff. Also known as the Tower, the San Francisco born German American Rostock makes his official in ring return at New Nord Europe's EEL tournament after announcing his semi retirement last year. Currently acting as the head trainer of the Force Wrestling Academy in Denver, only time will tell how Rostock's MMA strikes and power maneuvers fare up against younger competition. At 38 years of age, Adrian Snyder is not one of the younger competition, but rather among the oldest of the bunch. And he doesn't let it show one bit. After holding the ASJ Heavyweight Championship in Japan on two different occasions and enjoying varying success in North America, the Dutch Arrow steps back to European soil and looks to solidify his spot as one of the greatest European core wrestlers of all time. And just a side note. During his 20 year career, nobody, and I repeat, nobody, has ever kicked out of the Sandro Ling, that devastating electric chair driver he's put so many international superstars away with. Fittingly, the final competitor of the A-Block adds that international flavor to this tournament. 
Tommy Walker from Dallas, Texas, but grown and trained in London, is a huge man whose sharp strikes and English cats as can style grappling is hard to match. He's made quite an impact in Empire Wrestling and was chosen by Ale Caprera to represent the promotion in the EEL tournament. Is age a factor or will the Cowboy take the European Heavyweight Championship to the United States? While b -Blog is hosted by the French capital of Paris, the city of love, trust me, there's no love lost between these men on their way to the top of New Nord Europe. There's plenty of love in Paris for this man though, and not just Paris, but the whole of France. Marc-André Bachon is a former heavyweight boxing champion, so it's no surprise the heaviest hands in this year's EEL tournament, and well, the entire New Nord Europe roster, and perhaps out of all European core wrestling scene, belong to this man. But don't get it twisted, boxing's not all this man can do. After deciding to transition to professional wrestling, Bashan went to train at the Baker Institute in Nevada and became known as a master grappler as well. With the crowd in his corner, we'll have to wait and see how far that will take the hero of front. Here's an interesting participant. The Crimean Tiger is the lightest man in this tournament, but it's not a disadvantage, no, the opposite. His aerial offense has brought the masked Ukrainian a number of titles in Eastern Europe where he holds the status of somewhat of a uh, pop culture icon. It's hard to say will his risk-taking style pay off against all the much larger men in the tournament. Like this one. <laughs> what can I say? Dietrich has been away for a while, but if this German's past accomplishments are any indicator, Biplock should be very, very afraid. The former DCO World Heavyweight Champion has had success as a singles and a tag team wrestler and is one of the pound for pound strongest men in New Nord Europe. His most powerful weapon might still be his personality. Dietrich only cares about Dietrich. In addition, it's been said he was very unhappy after being appointed to compete in B-Block in Paris instead of A-Block and hosted by his hometown of Perly. An angry man without remorse doesn't sound good for the other participants. This man is the least likely to care what an angry man has to say. At 21 years of age, Billy Emerald is the junior of this tournament, and that makes it even scarier to say that he might be the most technically gifted of them all. Often the stereotype of younger wrestlers portrays him as smaller, but young Billy stands far above half of the rest of the competition. His impressive stature, reckless attitude and the renowned emerald cutter that he can pull off from any position, at any time, could very well bring the Irishman to superstardom. The flamboyant even extravagant Antoine Giroud doesn't need the spotlight. He is the spotlight. We might not be in Grenoble, but you can bet your hats France loves the self-proclaimed most beautiful man that ever lived. Giroud's guillotine choke might be one of the hardest submissions to fight out of. Not to mention he can lock it in without warning. And if that's not enough, he's not afraid to drop you face first on the turnbuckle with a sickening brain buster. It's not his face getting destroyed after all. This man's face is already all over, at least over newspapers in Latvia. LKS doesn't go by his full name because he doesn't have to. Everyone knows who he is. At least if you're a Latvian teenage girl. Nonetheless, this internet star took his country by storm with his viral prank videos, becoming a millionaire in the process, before controversially announcing his desire to compete in core wrestling. In less than six months after his debut, a mere three years ago, LKS had already held every single Latvian championship. Now he's on the hunt for a bigger prize. He'll at least meet a bigger man once he comes across the ring with this guy. Craig Martin used to be a legitimate butcher in Blackpool until signing a contract with New Nord Europe and will take part in this year's EEL tournament. In addition to 10 years of wrestling experience, Martin actively trains in mixed martial arts and rugby, some of the most violent sports. In contrast, Martin himself asked us to mention that his favorite hobbies include carpentry and reciting poetry to his mother. This next and last participant is known by your mother, your neighbor and the Pope. One of the most successful and well-known core stars of the 2010s, 
Joe Omega enters the 2019 EEL tournament. For most of the participants, winning the tournament would be the biggest accomplishment of their careers. But for Omega, a victory here would be merely another trophy into his closet. Multiple time world heavyweight champion is just one of his merits. And it's needless to say Omega is the favorite to win this thing. Then again, taking Omega's scalp would instantly make anyone an icon of this industry. So this will be interesting. In each block, all 8 participants will face each other once. For a win, you score 2 points. For a draw, you claim 1 point. And for a loss, you walk backstage empty-handed. The participants with the most points win their blocks and will go one-on-one -on -one in a match at a special click preview to be announced at a later date. The winner of that match will be declared the winner of the 2019 Euro Elite League tournament and will be crowned the first ever new nor European heavyweight champion. Oh boy, I hope you're excited because I sure as hell am. The Euro Elite League tournament as well as more new nor Europe beyond that will be broadcast live on the official new nor channel coming soon. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Cole and I'll see you at the EEL tournament.